Bob up here, they've been uh, voted by the voters to be a part of our leadership team. Don is our vice president, um, and so excited to have Don with us. How many times have you been vice president in your journey of life or president? Never before. Never before. Yeah. So cool. All right. I skipped that spot. <laughs> you did everything else. And Bob Krieger is, um, is returning by popular demand. And uh, we're glad to have you back as an elder with us as well. And so I just want to... Um, we've already been voted, you approved by the voters, but now I ask you, um, will you take this office and your position seriously, um, give your passion as you always have, and um, a prayer to God guidance and say yes with the help of God. Yes with the help of God. Well, welcome. As an elder and the vice president, we're glad to have you with us. Let's thank the Lord for these two men as well. That's it. We can stay right up here, Bob. Don, I, Don has his he has a commission already, and so he's going to tell you a little bit about it. You probably read the newsletter, but the next two months, he's coming to you. And so, Don, share us a little about um, your what you're asked to do by the council. Yes, as you know, there's been some discussion about what we might do with this particular building, and we thought it might be good to step back and say, well, where are we going as a church, and what's happening in the community around us? So to gather some information uh, here in the next couple of months, I will be meeting with the various groups, plus individuals in an open congregational meeting, and asking three questions to help guide us in our future. Those questions are, what is Trinity and God's world doing well that should continue to grow? The second one is, what is Trinity not doing well or not doing at all that we should be doing to enhance our ministry for Jesus? And then finally, what changes and additions in structure, staffing, and facilities need to be made to meet these challenges? So we're looking for everybody's input. Uh, you know, we value uh, all opinions in that. Uh, additionally, we're we'll taking a look at what the town of Prescott Valley sees happening here in the next dozen years and how that might affect us as well. So if you have any questions, see me whenever I'm available, and I'll be glad to try and answer them. Thank you. All right, thank you, John. Let's thank these guys once again for being with us. Thank you, John. Now we're going to have the Stevens leaders come up. We need to commission one more minister. Barbara Bouchon, if you'd come forward at this time so we can commission you. And, uh, we did this a couple of weeks ago. And then uh, we have Barbara today. And then we'll go to the Methodist Church, United you know, Methodist. And we'll do that with Sandy in front of her, uh, her church family as well. And we are very blessed uh, with our ministry here. Maybe you know the ministry. It's a 50-hour training that you pass, Barbara, um, with flying colors um, to learn how to listen and, um, and care. And, so, uh, and so, so now she'll be teamed up down the road with another lady to be supportive and walk with her at this time. And, um, and, they, and so we appreciate it. So I just want to ask you. Well, let me get my notes as well. Okay, Barbara. Are you prepared to meet these requests of serving this church and this community as a Stevens minister to listen to team up with someone going through a transition? We ask of you and say yes with the help of God. Are you prepared to nurture the skills you have learned and use them in service to others to support, encourage, build up, and confirm comfort people in all their, all their needs and answer yes with the help of God? And as you did a couple of weeks ago, brothers and sisters of Trinity, now we ask you to open your hearts to the ministry of these people, to pray for them, that they may be effective servants. Are you prepared to walk with, at this time, with Barnum and Stevens Ministry in prayer? And, and so if you ever need someone to go through, to help through a transition, that you call on the Stevens Ministry, say yes with the help of God. Yes with the help of God. This time we'll have Donna come forward. And she'll give your verse and the rest of the students ministers just come around, Barbara, if you would at this time. Put your hands on her. Barbara, friend for years. When I got to know you, I thought, what a what a wonderful Christian lady she is. Patient, protects, trusts, and always perseveres. She will make a good Stephen minister when her time is right. The time is now. Welcome to the Stephen ministry. The verse I chose. Your favorite verse is 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8. Love 
is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Welcome as a Stevens Ministry Barber. Let's thank the Lord with our hands. At this time, uh, why don't we arise and grab your hymn books for our closing blessing on page 201. And you guys, thank you, Stevens Ministers, for coming this morning. Um,